What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Of course, we're on Rumor Train still. And I know everybody's gonna be in the comments like, Nintendo Land, what are you doing? More rumors? You don't know if any of this is true. This is a very good point. Yeah, okay, none of this could be true. But in a time right now for Nintendo where absolutely nothing is happening and pretty much the only games that we know of this year are Princess Peach, Paper Mario, and Luigi's Mansion 2, yeah, I think it's time for us to talk about some stuff that could be happening at least. At least put some speculation out there, especially since there's been no Nintendo Direct or anything to really go off of. So, yes, you're going to get some rumors. But let me start off by saying that this comes from Zippo, so we all know how that goes. But listen, are they an absolutely abysmal source to go to? Not no. They've gotten some things right. I mean, they've actually did state that there was a new 2D Mario coming and pretty much timed it up pretty well, like two years in advance, and kind of got all the details, the little intricate things about it right, saying that it was not going to be new Super Mario Brothers and is going to have a new art style and just a whole slew of things and actually got a lot of that right. So yes, there is some credibility there, a little bit, but yes, just a tiny winsy bit. But enough of my blabbering, let's get into the rumors. So Zippo starts off the article by saying, happy belated Mario Day to all you out there in the Mushroom Kingdom. We had quite a few Mario announcements over the weekend, including Lego Mario Kart and release date announcements for Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion 2. Obviously, the biggest deal was the announcement of a brand new film based around the world of Super Mario Bros. Essentially meaning this is not a sequel to the Super Mario Bros. movie, if you were wondering. I can confirm from my own sources that is indeed the case, this movie is a spin-off. Then says, here's where it gets crazy. I'm hearing that the film is either Luigi's Mansion or the Donkey Kong film, both of which are in development at Illumination. I do not know which film has taken the April 2026 date, but I do know a few things that point it to being the former, being of course Luigi's Mansion. Now, yes, we know that Nintendo did in fact come out and say that there is going to be another Mario movie, or at least movie in the Mario universe. We actually don't know, however, if it's going to be a direct sequel or if it's going to be a spin-off with Donkey Kong or Luigi's Mansion, and we been hearing rumors about maybe some of these other characters getting their own movies. So a Luigi's Mansion movie we've already talked about would be amazing, and of course we'll probably talk more about that later, uh, but we're here for the games today. And there is some more interesting stuff in this article. Zippo goes on to say, I'm also hearing that Next Level Games' Switch 2 debut, Luigi's Mansion 4, is set to release in the first half of 2026. The game is sounding incredibly ambitious, and this is easily the biggest and most expensive game Next Level has ever made. Expect absolutely mind-blowing visuals, animation, and a game that is twice the size of Luigi's Mansion 3. Thought Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart looked good? This blows it out of the water, that's a guarantee. But he goes on to say that this is why he thinks that the Luigi's Mansion movie is going to be like kind of partnered with this game and stuff, but okay, let, let's talk about this game because there's some stuff that I find to be kind of funny. So I want to say first off, none of this is really that surprising. I mean, we know Luigi's Mansion is growing to be a big phenomenon for Nintendo, that Luigi's Mansion 3 has sold extremely well. It's one of the best selling games on the entire console, which is crazy. So of course Luigi's Mansion 4 is coming, it's just a matter of when, and they're saying around 2026, uh, which would be technically the second year of the brand new console if that brand new console does come out at the beginning of next year like the rumors are suggesting but yes that also makes sense as well that will give development time about seven years which is a long time i'm not gonna lie for the next luigi's mansion but if it is going to be as ambitious as like maybe a new 3d mario would be um the next level game is really putting in a lot of money into this game to make it as big and fancy and beautiful as possible then yes i can see it taking seven years and it just makes sense it's one of those things that doesn't necessarily feel like it needs to come sooner especially with Luigi's Mansion 2 uh, coming out this year, then next year can be all the first year stuff for the new console, the Mario's, you know, Mario Kart, 3D Mario, Metroid Prime 4, stuff like that. And then that second year, you can have Luigi's Mansion 4 be the big game of that year as well. Yeah, it, it makes sense. It lines up. So one thing that's kind of just like no does, you know, Zippo just talking about the game's going to look spectacular. I mean, Luigi's Mansion 3 is running on Switch hardware, which isn't that great. And it's already one of the best looking games on the console, like hands down. It is a beautiful looking game. So I could only expect, you know, a console with a lot more power coming out that this is going to be, once again, one of the best looking games on that brand new console. It's very, very good looking. Luigi's Mansion 3 is beautiful. So Luigi's Mansion 4 is probably going to be stellar. So there's really no reason to doubt that. That just makes sense as well. Now the statement of it being twice the size of Luigi's Mansion 3 is pretty interesting because Luigi's Mansion 3 is a pretty big game. There are tons of floors in that game and there's a lot of content jam-packed into that game. Uh, so to see a mansion or some type of area that's two times as big 
would be pretty, uh, you know, pretty spectacular, honestly. And once again, it's this is just all stuff that we would expect naturally from the next Luigi's Mansion. Of course, looking better, being bigger, you know, it, it's really not that much of a rumor. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, I would love to see a super huge world for Luigi to explore. Now, the question is, how are they going to go about this? You know, normally Luigi's in a mansion, or in Luigi's Mansion 2's case, tons of different mansions. Or Luigi's Mansion 3, one giant hotel. And we've came up with concepts of them making like maybe a big museum, uh, maybe one that's like on a cruise ship, maybe one that's on like a ghost train. Um, and as those are good concepts, I don't see how any of those could be a world that's two times bigger. The only thing I could possibly think of is maybe just one humongous mansion. I mean, a giant one. I'm talking... 10 times bigger than the first game's mansion. I mean, that's literally all I can think of, um, and just allowing us to kind of go throughout the area the way we want would be really cool. Imagine being able to explore a gigantic mansion, like I said, 10 times bigger than the first game's, and you can go wherever you want. There's no like story beats that you have to hit. You can go explore any type of area that you want. There's cutscenes and specific story beats depending on where you go, but maybe the whole overall story is Luigi has to find like seven keys, and they're all completely hidden on completely different parts of this giant mansion and it's your job to explore these different areas at your own leisure kind of giving it an open end in this field would be really cool so not like an open world per se but more like an open mansion and I honestly wonder if Luigi's Mansion 2 had any type of influence on this new Luigi's Mansion 4 game um, and maybe that's why they're bringing it back so I thought of like an area very similar to Evershade Valley instead of like four or five different mansions all around the area there's different like haunted things to visit like there's a haunted hotel there's a haunted cruise ship in the area there's a haunted train and you can visit all these little different areas and pretty much explore them at your own leisure And you can actually walk from each area one to another from walking outside It's not just like warping you from mansion to mansion the way they did in Luigi's Mansion 2 that would be pretty cool. Imagine like you could also walk to like a haunted theme park area um, where there's like a haunted roller coaster and merry-go-round and stuff. Oh, that'd be so good. Not gonna lie, I'm sitting here getting like tons of new ideas. So expect a Luigi's Mansion 4 video very soon because I, I, I can't stop thinking about all the cool things they could do. But yes, this is a lot of stuff that we were just expecting. Bigger, better looking, it's gonna be a great game. And of course, I don't even feel like it's one of those things, even though it's gonna be seven years, it doesn't feel like a Mario Odyssey to like the next, 3D Mario game, for instance, where we're just like all patiently waiting for the next 3D Mario. I feel like there's just stuff to kind of hold us off with Luigi's Mansion. It's just like one of those franchises. I feel like I can wait seven years. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, I just, I know next level games is just going to do something spectacular with it. I would love to see them just put like a huge budget into the next game and just go all out completely crazy with it. This is going to be a great game. But let me know in the comments down below if you believe these rumors. Do you believe like this next Luigi's Mansion is going to be massive? Do you think it's going to be kind of open world style or open mansion? Um, let me know what you'd like to see down below. And uh, yeah, just give me all your crazy ideas. Maybe some of them I'll throw into my next future video. So here's an idea. Comment LM4 wish followed by your Luigi's Mansion 4 wish. Uh, and then maybe like if your idea is crazy and wacky enough, I'll throw it into a future video. But thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe, but also join the official Nintendo Land Discord. We have been playing 3DS and Wii U games to prepare for the shutdown of the servers, and we are getting ready today even to start up Mario Kart 7. So if you want to play with us, make sure you just join the Discord with the link down below and uh, join the Play with Nintendo Land tab in order to chat with me and play some uh, DS and Wii U games with me. But thank you so much for tuning in, and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.